the Improving Literacy and Numeracy National Partnerships Program has uh, improved the funding for many programs that we have done over the last 12 to 18 months at Callaghan College Walls and Campus. We have run uh, a full focus on reading program for all staff and also we have run uh, literacy continuum training not only for our staff but for all our feeder partner primary schools as well. We have also been able to fund a reading program which has enabled over 40 students per year to access the curriculum in a better way. We appointed a project coordinator, a technical supervisor, an at-risk coordinator to lead the way in improving literacy for our kids. Our reading program has been designed and implemented by a retired primary principal. We now have another two teachers working with him and we have small groups of between two and three students working with the teacher individually. The focus on reading is targeted in a sequential package that's been done over time. And in the, in the interim parts, it's been staff's responsibility to begin embedding those particular uh, learning, learning ideas and targets within their teaching. And that is actually part of their task process for this year and that's really important. We used uh, NAPLAN results from primary schools. We did identification by uh, teachers. And uh, having done that, we were then able to carry out our own uh, diagnostic testing. We found that uh, quite a few of them, although were quite reasonable readers, the comprehension levels were very, very low. This has been quite a shock for most staff because where we thought we were differentiating for students with reading ages between maybe 10 and 17, we're now backtracking further and having a look at where those students have fallen through the cracks of our system. Our aim is to embed literacy into all areas of the curriculum across the school and to have a fully accessible continuum from K to 12 across our partner primary schools and our college. Yeah. We've seen students leave that reading program with a reading age of 17 when they have come in with a reading age of just over six years old. Ben's out here. Yes. Like cat. Well, not cat, but have a look at page two as well. But I the results we got from retesting were quite extraordinary. Some of these kids probably haven't had the opportunity of having individualised programs and uh, they fitted into the small group situation where they felt very comfortable and I think that was part parcel of the uh, reason they've improved so much. Okay. Thank you, Mr. We have been reading booklets and telling us how to spell words and spell them out and everything and being more confident in reading in front of class and everyone and it's about reading and we get to learn more things in some really cool ways, like fun ways. You get to be with your friends, have a good time. And actually, like, not you don't want to go to that class, you always want to go in there. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Don't struggle as much. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good, girl. How much yeah. It can be. The critical element was the professional development of staff and working on the literacy continuum. So staff members had an idea as to where the students were placed in the continuum and what they might do to help them in a targeted way. So if you started thinking, um, there's a strategy I really like, so I'm going to find something to teach using that strategy. We could sit down, introduce the text, and there's five key points to the literature, literature circle. So explaining, uh, demonstrating, guiding, practicing, and then reflecting. So we would probably do that with, with the harder text that we might read within our project. We have a lot of young staff and we want to support them not only with uh, focus on reading and developing their teaching skills, but also to give them access to registered hours of training. We often meet to discuss markers and 
where students are at and what they're doing. And we also plot where the students are online uh, using Central, which is also a great program to attract students with. I find it really useful in a room um, where we have what's called walls that teach. Um, it's really easy to um, use the information that we have around us to draw the attention to the students um, with um, particular terms and things. Um, it helps that across most of the classrooms in our school we have common words, common posters, so that they do refer to that um, even without them even knowing. They'll look around and go, oh yeah, that's right, that's what I um, am, that's what she's talking about, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh yeah, that's right, that's how I spell that word. Just really simple things like that works really well. As soon as you say the word summarising, they don't um, freak out about that anymore. They don't become overwhelmed with the idea of having to summarise a big, a big block of text. They find it easier to um, look at that and know the skills that they use in science might cross over to an English class or a history class or something like that. I've actually been pretty fortunate, specifically this year, to teach um, in the classroom a lot of the students that we do have in the reading group, and I have noticed that um, amongst a very large proportion of those students that they have become a lot more confident um, with reading in front of the class. And um, I recently had a group of year nine uh, boys reading um, a novel and we'll take turns reading and I found that the most the people who uh, volunteered to read out in front of the class were students from the reading group um, and then when we would be sharing answers doing comprehension activities um, with text those students do have the confidence to share their answers and don't feel embarrassed to share those things amongst their peers. We've really benefited from working with local consultants, uh, primary education, learning and leadership and the literacy and numeracy directorates. The ILNMP has been an absolutely wonderful thing here for the school and we're well on the way to making some, to making some significant changes for students. This program has enabled us to come together as a staff. It has enabled us to develop further relationships, positive relationships with our students and our wider school community and also our partner primary schools. We would not have completed the focus on reading training without that funding and we would not have been able to start our reading program without that funding. We hope to continue this and embed this as regular school practice. We've really embraced the ILNP. It's been a fantastic thing. We've embraced the focus on reading. We're embracing the use of literacy, literacy continuous as a very important transition element for us. We're striving for best practice all the time. We continue to look for the best outcomes for our students. This literacy, after all, is everybody's business.